Well, local shelters have taken in nearly 100 dogs found in deplorable conditions from a house on the eastern shore. Rescuers believe the animals may have been victims of a hoarding situation. Penny, your size, Aisha Tolliver is in the newsroom now. And Aisha, what do we know about the home and the dogs? Well, we spoke to Shockey Boyajin, who's with the rescue shelter Dogs Deserve Better, and she says this rescue was facilitated by their Eastern Shore chapter. Now, she was a part of the team who went into the home to get the pups out, and she held back tears as she spoke about the conditions the dogs were found in. And a big warning the video you are about to see is disturbing. 90 flea infested small dogs were saved by local rescue shelters from a home on the Eastern Shore Saturday. Hard to watch video shows one of the bathrooms where the terrified pups are sitting in inches of dirt and feces. Angel Recoy with Critters for You Rescue says she met other animal rescuers at a nearby fire station to get some of the pups as they came out of the home in Bloxham, Virginia. The house is really bad. People are coming out vomiting, getting sick. Recoy says her shelter was able to take in six of them from the hoarding situation. These dogs were covered in their feces. There's the smell was atrocious. Shockey Boyajin with Dogs Deserve Better, who went inside the home, believes the dogs spent most, if not all, their life in these conditions. As horrible as those conditions were, these poor dogs, that was the only home they ever knew. She believes this was not a puppy mill operation, but instead a situation where the owner let things get out of control. Boyajin says a relationship was established with the owner, and from there, they were able to convince the owner to let the shelters take them away. We were very grateful once we got in that we were going to be able to get these dogs out of there. Now the dogs are split up at shelters across the area, and taking a lot of them was the Virginia Beach SPCA. We are full, but we we realized that this was an extenuating circumstance, and we wanted to be able to help. I'm told it'll be a while before they're up for adoption because of all the medical and mental care they need. To find a full list of all the shelters who helped in the operation and where the pups are being taken care of, you can head over to wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side.